what's up you guys this is oswaldo from rock entry welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome today we're gonna go over flagging how to flag i'm gonna go over three big mistakes a lot of beginner climbers make now i'm not gonna go over more difficult flagging like this case here we're gonna go over some very simple flagging in this case we're gonna focus on this flag here which includes a turn with your hips into a flag now before we get started i just want to give out huge thank you for those of you who pre-ordered my ebook the crux i really appreciate you also those of you who got the free sample of the book thank you if you haven't yet make sure to go over to rockentry.com so you can get the first chapter of my book thank you okay let's do this first thing i'm gonna suggest is a system wall the reason why is you're gonna be able to get on the wall consistently and practice this technique if you're out on the bouldering walls you're gonna get in people's way and you're just not gonna get on the wall as often so the system wall is perfect now i'm gonna show you guys how to choose your holds in this case i'm looking for the holds that i'm gonna be working with so I can work on my flagging technique. Okay, now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with these two crimp holds, go out to this pinch hold here, then out to this pink hold, and then just go straight up from there. Note, I'm only gonna use one foothold to start off. Now real quick, just notice how I'm choosing my holds. I'm only using one foothold for the start because I want to flag out. I want to smear out. I'm doing a two hand start pretty close to each other right here with the crimps. And I'm going left, right, left, up. That's it. So you got to just find something similar. If you have to use jugs, use the jugs. I tend to start with the crimps just so I can get an idea if I'm using proper form for the move. And as you improve, just make the holds a bit more complicated. That could be the type of hold or the reach that you're going for the hold. Now, what is flagging? Flagging is when you use one of your legs, in this case, my right leg, and smear out to use for balance, counterbalance. Now also, when I'm smearing out, as I go for the reach on my hold, I engage my smear so I can statically get to my hold here. Now, let me show you some examples why we're using the flag. And in this case, since we only have this foothold we're working with, reaching out to this pinch hold, this is what happens. Notice the swinging. I have no control. Now, if I start off with my right foot, go out for the pinch hold. Notice my swing here as well. Same issue. Now we know in this case, in order to have more control and stabilize our body, we need to flag out. Now we know what happens when we don't flag out. Now in this case, since we're flagging out with a right foot here, notice I have better balance and more control. And I can statically reach out for the first hold here. Now let's go over the three major mistakes beginner climbers make when trying to use this technique, this flagging technique. First mistake is directional. Which direction are you flagging? In this case, I'm flagging out with my left foot. But the issue is my hold is on the left side as well. So as I'm reaching out for that pinch hold, notice my smear is stopping me from that reach because I'm pressing on that smear so I fall out now if you look on the right side since I'm smearing out right now I can reach out left with my left hand so now you know if you're flagging right that means you're reaching left if you're reaching right that means you're flagging left mistake number two not engaging your smear when you're smearing out, you have to make sure you're engaging that smear. You want to press down on that smear. What helps me mentally is think of it as a foothold. Just imagine a foothold, press down on your smear so you leverage yourself out to the next hold. 
that smear is very important and this is something you're gonna use outdoors a lot you're not always gonna have the right foothold mistake number three and this is the biggest mistake a lot of beginner climbers make and I'm gonna show you here, see if you can figure it out what I'm doing wrong here. And it's the hips. You wanna make sure you twist your body in to the wall as close as you can so you can keep your center of gravity on top of this foothold here. And this makes a huge difference, you guys, seriously. If you're not doing this and your butt is sticking out, gravity is going to win eventually. What's going to happen here is most of the work is happening with your arms. You're using all of your energy on your arms at this point, keeping your body on the wall. You don't want to do that. Look on the right side here. When I bring my hips in, I have my center gravity on top of this hold. This means my hands are resting. I'm not doing much with my hands. So bring those hips in. Now, one thing I wanna note as well, when you're reaching out for your hold, in this case, this pinch hold, what I'm doing here, I'm engaging my smear, like I mentioned, but I'm also engaging my hand here. I'm locking off my right hand as I statically reach out for my pinch hold here. Note, this engagement here is gonna change depending on the reach. If it's farther out, you're gonna engage in more, if it's closer in, you're not going to do as much. It all depends where the hold is. If you enjoyed this video or find it useful at all, please do hit that like button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content. If you haven't yet, subscribe and click that bell notification because that's how you get notified about my videos. I also just want to thank again those of you who supported me for my book that really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. I am extremely happy right now because of you guys. And those of you who signed up for the free samples, I'm thankful for you as well. Love you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>